Yeah, man, I'm surprised you even having me on because we hate each other so much, <sighs> now, right? Because we hate each other so much, <sighs> now, right? He did not just, did you just say that? And you called me over to your boat and you said that I'm starting on the spot where you caught him yesterday. What? 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 At the same time, I felt like there was a lot of factors and a lot of gray area that pissed me off. I'm so mad. You were right. I was right. You might have been wrong. I might have been wrong. But we had differing opinions on something that's a very big gray area in tournament bass fishing. What is going on? Like, what is going on? How did all of this get started? Let's go straight to Millican Fishing's Facebook page. Sometimes you're the dog. Sometimes you're the bone. Do we have any bones? Bo uh, bones. Sometimes you get boned by the dog. No, 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 no. Day two at the Bass Nation Open didn't go as planned. Wasn't able to get on my day one juice. Then plans B through Z didn't work either. The bright side was definitely all of the incredible MFers that showed up to support. Hey, I think I might be an MFer. How do you know? I've been following his channel since before he quit his job and came a full-time YouTuber. Are you serious? I watch a lot of his videos and I've been rooting for him since he started the Bassmaster Opens. I can respect that. If you scroll down on that Facebook post, ah, oh, there's the picture. Beware of whole buzzards. And just below that, looks like he's pointing to Matt Pangrak. What do you guys think? Whole buzzard? What is a whole buzzard? Ah, buzzard. If you're out fishing, you're catching fish. Someone sees you catching those fish. They ease right over to where you're at. Try to strike up a conversation. Catch anything? And before you know it, they're fishing where you were fishing at. Whole buzzards. Don't you just hate it? Ah, buzzard. Not a good look, but might not be what you think. And I think a lot of people are kind of confused about like, oh, you knew this was going to happen. It's Decatur Flats. Everyone knows that's a community hole. Hmm, a community hole. Let's see. What is a community hole? To me, community hole means it's a place where people fish a lot. Does it mean they fish next to each other and... and you know, bump patrol of motors. Right. Community hole just means it's a place where it's on a map where people know it gets fished a lot. But the one thing about they're not community holes because you don't catch fish there. They're community holes because people have caught a lot of fish there. I think a lot of people are kind of confused about like, oh, you knew this was going to happen. That's Decatur Flats. Everyone knows yeah. that's a community hole. Well, Decatur Flats is like 14 miles long and two and a half miles wide. So that's like saying like Lake Conroe is a community hole. Like that's freaking huge. Huge. It's not like uh, everyone knew the same spot to go to. It, was, it wasn't like that at all. Pretty interesting. But let's hear how things went on day one. On day one, and I was boat number 41. And so I was actually the first boat there, um, despite it apparently being a spot that everyone found so i start catching them instantly and then um a couple boats that were kind of on some of the other bars kind of <laughs> suck right in where did you come from uh a couple of those guys got crazy close and so i think you know when when people saw my post about whole buzzards being on my stuff the whole tournament i i unfairly since you were in the picture in the background on day number two um that got of course, turned into, oh, Matt Pangrak was on Ben's spots. He wanted to be on the whole tournament. When in reality, that was just like, that was a picture that Cole had grabbed in the background. But I think when people watch my videos, you're going to see some kind of crazy stuff. Like, I'm not talking about guys where I could, like, cast into their boats that were so close. I'm talking about, like, I could cast over this guy's boat into another boat they pulled in so close. Ah, buzzard. 18 pounds after day one, 18 something, I don't remember what it was. I was in 13th place, but um, outside of Trey McKinney's 21 pound bag, I was within about a pound of everyone in the field. Let's get to day two. I think that may be where the problems began. And you called me over to your boat and you said that I'm starting on the spot where you caught him yesterday. And I was, and I was like, all right. Kind of what I said. Oh. I, thought I, I thought I said, hey, Andrew Upshaw, I told Andrew Upshaw where I was starting, and he said that you fished there yesterday. I think that you did the right thing by bringing it up to me before the turn, before day two. What I didn't like is that I felt like 
I was very much in contention to get a top 10 or win the event because if I would have even had 14 pounds, I would have been fishing the top 10. You were way back in the field, but I didn't like that you had known that I was there. I don't think that you did anything wrong necessarily. Tackle Warehouse is having a 15% off Memorial Day sale. The link is in the description. Sale ends May 31st. Click the link in the description now before the items you want are sold out or the sale ends. So the thing that kind of ticked me off was in the post where you said like hole buzzards where you were pointing. Like, and it, and I was actually in that picture. Hey, that's me. And I understand it might, that might not have been it, but it made it look like you were like bitching me out when in reality, like I was kind of talking to you about the spot and st I drive past the spot and it's an absolute zoo on it. Now I didn't realize it was you. And I told Andrew Upshaw after that night, cause I knew he spent a ton of time out on the flats. I said, dude, I said, I'm going to, I said, I'm going to start on out in front of those dredge signs tomorrow. I said, I'm boat eight. I'm going to get it. I said, it was an absolute zoo out there today. And he goes, dude, you know, Milliken was out there, right? What? And I went, no, I didn't. I knew that I was planning on, on starting on that spot. If I had had a good boat drop, was it totally random that it happened to be you on that spot? Would I have been there regardless of the other 220 boats that were in that tournament yeah i was going to start there on day two regardless the reason why i started there on day two regardless even though i knew that you were on that spot after i decided i was going to start there was because it never crossed my mind that it was the wrong thing to do jeffrey's always right. says if it crosses your mind if you have to justify why you're there what you're doing or you have to think about it this is mark jeffrey so i did the podcast with for 20 years he goes don't do it he goes, but if you 100% know in your mind that you're not doing anything wrong and that you think you're right, he goes, you have to stick with your guns 100% of the way through. That's the only way you'll be able to fish with integrity the entire duration of your career. Now, you might be wrong in some of those instances, but at least you're going to be able to, 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 to fish with that knowledge that you have done what you believe is the correct thing to do for yourself, for the sport, and for your competitors for the duration of the time you're on the water. But without detailed communication, it can lead to miscommunication. Be sure to join me Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, moneybass.com for the weekly live stream, 8 p.m. Eastern. We'll be going a little bit deeper into this topic. The link for the live stream is in the description. Wait a minute, quick side note. Did you guys know Ben Milliken was in a commercial? Obviously we got termites. Well, first thing is, you gotta know what they're biting on. Whoa. Yeah. This aged birch wood is perfect for the big ones this time of year. Oh. They gobbled up like a candy bar. Nice. What's going on? What? I told you to hire a pro. I did get a pro. An Orkin pro. <laughs>